Welcome to the demonstration of NetSuite Suite Billing. I'm logged in as a billing administrator. I'm going to start by opening a sales order that I've created for one of my customers, FJS Solutions, using NetSuite CRM. I could have also triggered this sales order from an external system such as a CPQ. This sales order includes five IoT devices that I have fulfilled from my inventory and shipped to the customer. These IoT devices will be billed as a rental charge within the customer subscription. The sales order also contains a subscription to the IoT Anywhere plan. Although the subscription is part of the initial sales order, it will be activated and billed directly from the customer account independent from the IoT device fulfillment. Let's open the subscription and take a look. This subscription is named Southeastern Region to denote that it is representing users who are located in the customer's southeastern locations. This subscription is for an initial one-year term. The term starts on February 15th and ends on February 14th, one year later. Note that the subscription is set to renew on February 15th, 2026. When this subscription renews, the renewal behavior is set to include a 5% renewal uplift that will automatically be applied. This subscription is aligned to FJS Solutions Retail Division Billing, and there is a link back to the original sales order that we were looking at earlier. Within the subscription, we identify all of the different SKUs that are being billed to the customer. Here, note that we can see the serial numbers for each of those IoT devices that are being rented, and each item denotes whether it's being billed in advance or in arrears, in addition to various other details such as the status and start date. When I move to my pricing tab, we're able to identify for each item what is the type of billing, recurring, commit plus overage, usage, and there are many other options for billing. For each item, we can identify the quantity, the price, any discount that's being applied, as well as the amount that will be billed monthly, annually, or on any other cadence. It's important to note that these subscriptions can include commit plus overage. In this case, the customer has committed to 500 units at a rate of five cents each per month, and there is an overage rate if they exceed that allotted quantity. Sweep Billing will use these rates to automatically calculate the charges and invoices on a recurring basis. Also note that in this subscription, the SaaS Access will have a 10% discount applied six months into the subscription. Pricing changes can be set in the subscription to automatically occur on a chosen date. Directly from the subscription record, we have visibility into any changes that were made to the subscription, as well as any transactions. This subscription has generated two transactions, the initial sales order, as well as an invoice. Let's open up this invoice and look at the details. Invoice number 5468 was generated on February 15th and is due March 17th. It includes all of the items that we saw within the subscription. Each item identifies the service period, the charge, the quantity, and other details that are important to display on a customer invoice. Now that we've reviewed some of the basic information about subscriptions, I'm going back to my home screen where we can see many reports and KPIs that Sweet Billing provides to manage a subscription business. For example, here's a series of upcoming renewals. There's one for Aces Cafe that I want to dig into. On this screen, all of the details regarding their renewal are identified. Let's finish by going to one of the many available reports that come with Sweet Billing. In this case, we're going to be looking at the monthly recurring revenue report. This report identifies the billed or anticipated monthly recurring revenue for each subscription during the subscription lifetime. As with most NetSuite reports, this can be customized to add more data elements and it is drillable. For example, I can look at my UK subsidiary and see just those subscription MRR numbers and note that the amounts are denominated in pounds sterling. Thank you for watching this demonstration. If you have any questions, please reach out to your account manager.